the rule of this game of big factories is broken, Dennis Sverdlov says in a late evening Zoom call from his London home. If you do things exactly the same as others do it's quite strange to expect better results. So Arrival, his electric vehicle startup, is trying a new approach with its futuristic delivery vans and buses. Sprawling, multi-billion dollar auto plants, whether they build Fords or Teslas, are too costly and inflexible for fast-changing markets and the shift to electricity, according to Sverdlov. We took a different approach to every element of this, what type of materials we're using, how we design the vehicles, how we assemble them, he says, wearing a crisp white shirt with a rival's asterisk logo and trademark shaved head. An urgent incoming email and his young son wandering by in the background don't derail the detailed explanation. Sverdlov, who founded Arrival in 2015 with a £26 million, £20 million investment from his London-based venture firm, Kinetic, is taking a very different approach to making affordable, profitable electric vehicles. He created the VC firm after the $1.2 billion sale of Russian phone maker Yoda in 2012, which he co-founded and ran. His idea runs counter to Elon Musk's obsession with gigantism namely, multi-billion dollar Tesla gigafactories and terawatt-hour level battery plants cranking out enough vehicles to supply the planet. Sverdlov's building 50 million dollars, 45 million euros, microfactories close to customers that don't need pricey stamping presses, paint and welding shops and assembly lines. Each one will crank out 10,000 vans or 1,000 buses a year. The first two in Bicester, England, and Rock Hill, South Carolina open next year. More will be added as demand from fleet customers grows. It's almost like the model of McDonald's, he says. You get as many as needed to fulfill demand. Arrival also plans to sell zero-emission vans at prices close to the $40,000 cost of gasoline or diesel-fueled commercial models. It's an audacious goal since electric trucks are at least 50% more expensive. To do that, Arrival claims its vehicles are lighter due to aggressive weight saving from an aluminum chassis and body panels made of proprietary composites. Lighter means smaller, cheaper batteries the main expense for EVs. Battery vehicles already offer lower fuel and maintenance costs so a manufacturer that can sell them at price parity could see substantial demand in the US, which buys 10 million light commercial vehicles annually. Pressure to cut transportation's carbon emissions, led by tough rules in the EU, California and Japan, is fueling global competition for vehicles powered by batteries and hydrogen. Replacing carbon-fueled vehicles with electric models is also a huge revenue opportunity that could total $22 trillion over the next few decades, Morgan Stanley equity analyst Adam Jonas estimates.